Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Today we're talking about a number of issues, number of stocks, and we're starting with SHLL Tools Acquisition and why they rose. Now, if you remember in my last video, I said how it would hit 25 to 27 and then start dropping. Now, we can see here 25.98. And why is that? Well, even though there's nothing there about it, basically, they've brought some lobbyists into SHLL. And why is that important? It's important because there's plenty of anti green senators. Plenty of any green people, and in order to get their uh, agenda across, you know, you've also got you've got plenty of lobbyists for oil, gas, and you've got plenty of lobbyists for even electric EVs. So this is in the middle. And you, uh, so this gives them a say. Also, the lobbyists will give them, get them noticed, and give them PR. And it's uh, even though it's had some PR, you know, and it might bring in more business. So I think it's a good move for them. I did think it would pull back before now, but uh, I think there's been some FOMO. And that's why when I saw the FOMO, I said, I think it's going to... So I think it's going to... Uh, 25 to 27... Anyway, we head on to the next thing. Fortnite Epic Games sues Google and Apple over App Store bans. Now, if you remember, Google, when they first started, they said they were making their platform free because uh, anyone with that much, that big and that much power would have to turn evil. And now Google's one of the biggest corporations in the uh, well, so what does that say for Google? With Apple, they have a 30% royalty on every app. Now, I'll give you the arguments for and against. The arguments against is that you know, Apple doesn't get 30%, but some apps don't bring in anything, so they. 30% and nothing is nothing and they still have to go through everything with those apps and that. Uh, argument for it is they wouldn't be charging 30% if it wasn't for the fact it was a monopoly. Basically, I'm not saying they shouldn't be charging, but 10 to 15% for a company like them should be fair. Don't forget, they came to an agreement with Amazon and some of the big Goliaths of business of 15% and they're charging everyone else 30% because otherwise they wouldn't have gone on the App Store and that would have sent a message to Apple and people going on Apple. Now, the The thing is, uh, personally, I think Apple is a monopoly. I think I also think Apple is an incredibly well-run business, and I think same with Google. 
I was asked whether I will be going in before split. I have made the mistake of not going into Apple a long time ago. I have made the mistake again of not going in because I saw Warren Buffett sell at 320. It was in the 300 mark, so I didn't buy in. When I could have bought in at lower, I bought in the Google and Facebook instead. The reason why, I did a review and they were better stocks for the price. And then when they was all on par, Apple had issues such as closing down stores and they weren't bringing out their phone. Now, I made money with Google and Facebook, as you can see, uh, with Apple. Now, their first quarter earnings, they credited beating earnings to government assistance programs such as PPP and the other. If you look for it, you will see it. Now, that gave them a platform and stepping stone to be able to reinvest for the Q2. Now, I think these programs should be are put in place for the smaller companies and a company like Apple that doesn't need it shouldn't be taking advantage of it but it's there to be used and abused so what am I, who am I to say if I was a shareholder I'd be saying it's oh, helping my share price out so anyway the fact is I think Epic is right, but then I think Epic has had this in mind since Google had kicked them off. They had a PR exercise all up and running and ready. They knew that Apple was going to kick them off, and before they did, they wrote all this up. Now, something for people to realise. UK and the EU have come to an agreement over COVID-19 or Rona Rona for our friends across the pond for vaccines, 90 billion doses. And you might have seen Novavax jumping up recently. Now, the other company is Johnson & Johnson. But nothing seems to, it doesn't seem to have on Wednesday affected the shares but it's pulled back doesn't really seem to have affected the shares but if you consider that in a week's time well just over a week they're paying a dividend of 2.7% of dollars a share I'm surprised it's not up more you know before the run up You know, there's a dollar difference between between before the run up and now. So I will be going into it. I will be loading the boat on that. And don't forget to hit that lovely like button. Almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares. We uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can ask me to look into any share you want. And I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't 
give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know, you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit, the others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over 3,500 US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Whereas Trading 212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. Now, another company that has been knocked down recently, and I think it's a quality company, Walgreens Booths Alliance. Picked this up before Jeremy even said anything about it. And it pays 4.56% dividend. Pays $1.87 on the 17th. Now, you're getting a discount and it's you're getting a discount and it's about to pay a dividend I'm surprised people aren't piling into these stocks people are dropping the ball Revolve no Revolve has been such a good one to anyone that I spoke to not in February, I spoke to them. It just there. And people said to me, it's already had its run up. And I had it there and there. That's where I got in. And to tell the truth, I sold half of it there. Then it dipped down again and I bought back in. And it's gone up. And when it hit $23, I sold. And it's coming down again. Now, if it hits $20, I'm piling above. It has beaten expectations by 600, by earnings expectations by 688%. You're getting people taking profit. And now this is the sort of thing that happens afterwards. Now. Oh. I do believe in this company. But. Now. Where was it? Oh there is. Archer Daniels Midland. Now I spoke about this before. It is a company that is a dividend aristocrat and three years off of becoming dividend king. And on the 17th pays dividend, 3% dividend. Now, the ones I've told you are ones that you have a couple of options with. You can either go into them, if you're dividend chasers, you can go into them, buy them, have a pre-anticipatory run-up, and either sell off just before, if you fit your price point, or you can claim the dividend and then sell. Uh, or you can go in, get before the dividend rush, get a dividend, and hold them for life. Johnson and Johnson is one I'd hold for life. <coughs> now, I would also say the same about AT and T. I've spoken about it earlier. Now, the thing about AT and T, of course, you missed the dividend, but it's still trading at such a discount. I think it's worth it. You know. Just look at all these stocks I go through for you guys, you know. Microsoft, that's one I meant to talk about. Now, Microsoft. Now, it's had a bit of a pullback. I'd be putting in some limit orders at 200 and 200 to $204 a share. Why? 
they've released pictures of their new phone. It's a, it's a double ended phone, and there's no pictures on here. See, thing is, Microsoft are the front runners to uh, for TikTok a discount, uh, and for TikTok India revolve uh revolute sorry uh india uh, to the one that amazon has invested billions in of other uh, front runners but these guys they've got the phone coming out they've got such a mo you know the I just think it's going to do nothing but raise the price. It's the same as Intel. I think Intel have so many other strings to their bow. Remember, they're the ones who do mobile eye that Neo use for their autonomous driving, that Ford have just contracted to do their autonomous programming. So they're bringing in loads of money from that. Now. That there is talk that Intel may be picking up uh, or an agreement with Taiwan Semiconductor uh, for their, uh, the Taiwan Semiconductor uh, for a 7mm chip but True or not, uh, I know it's going to set them back, but it's not going to cripple Intel. Remember, be greedy when others are fearful. When people were saying, going to NVIDIA and Intel, I went into uh, AMD and everyone was saying, you're crazy. And when people were saying going to AMD and NVIDIA, now I'm going into Intel. It will all swing back. Now, speaking of AMD, I also think Adobe. Let's have a look at Adobe. Yeah, I did say it would have a little run up. No, but we would want to pull back before going in. Now, Pinterest is one that I like because Shopify. Now, personally, I think Shopify is going to have a run up uh, in the next month. But I can't tell when. So I the other thing is with Pinterest it, it has a tie up with Shopify. Why am I so into Pinterest? Well Pinterest has a thing on the site where once you put upload something it stays there forever so if you're advertising on there say for instance someone advertises on a video that I upload to it that advertisement stays there forever if someone advertises on my YouTube channel which they don't because I don't well they do but I don't get monetized from it then they will it will only stay there for that for one video for while someone watches that video it changes every time someone watches it now I've noticed only 54% of you are subscribed as sorry only 46% of you are subscribed if the other 54% of you subscribe I will be 
releasing my dividend spreadsheet which is has automatic capabilities updating cap capabilities once you've input your information but <clears throat> as I said we have to get to over 300 subscribers and a thousand watch hours but still we'll see I'm sure I have to say I am amazed by how well you guys have done all the subscriptions and please comment in the box below and like and I'll see you in the next video stay safe stay savvy stay invested goodbye